what's up? Uh -oh. What's up, guys? It is. What's up, guys? Welcome back to L and M vlog. And yeah, I am back with another video. So today, <laughs> so today I'm gonna be doing heatless, really nice curls. So yeah. So before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Right, today's question of the day will be what type of hair do you have? Like, if you get in the shower and you like, um, wet it, does it, does it stay straight? Is it curly? Like, or is it wavy? Is it curly? Like mine, or any type. What type of hair do you have? I, I don't really like straight straight hair like this. I like it to be kind of wavy, so that's why I like to do heatless curls. So anyway, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment for the question of the day, which is what type of natural hair do you have? And yeah, so let's get right onto the video. Okay, so the materials you will need are. A brush for combing your hair out. Mine's already combed out. Soft. Soft. Yes. Soft. I said soft. You need soft. So, since I have long hair, obviously, I'm using these super long socks. Took about eight long socks. I know this look. And I started having a bonnet to sleep with. Because you're going to take it up overnight. So I prefer having a bonnet, some type of bonnet, to sleep with this, or else it's just going to really hurt your head. Because like when you move, you're going to be, the socks are going to be dangling all over and stuff, and that's really just uncomfortable. So, you want to have like your hair parted all the way, mine as far as you can see. I have a section of hair. Now, it depends. If you want big curls, Grab the bigger section. If you want smaller curls, grab the smaller section. I don't want it to be curly curly. I want it to be like just straight and then just like a little bit of curl on the end so that I can have long curls that curl. Also, you guys will need a hair tie. Forgot about that. We're just gonna focus on this for a second. So I'm just gonna brush this in case it's easy work. Obviously, it isn't. And now you want to pay really close attention. And I'll scream if you can. So since, like I said, I want my curls to be more down here, and I like curly curls, curly curls, but more down here. So I'm going to take the. Take the sock. It's hard for me to get it where I want it. So you take the sock and you're going to grab the hair. Still can't get it where I want it. Okay, so you take the sock and grab the hair. And start wrapping it around the sock. And your wrist will naturally start twisting as you wrap around it. So you don't really need to worry about twisting it. So you're just going to wrap around the sock. Until you reach the end of your hair, and then you're just going to grab both ends of the socks and tie them together really quickly before all, all the hair falls out. Alright, and there you did your first one. So weird. Is <laughs> a small section or medium section? One more time. Right. So if you want to like start curly from up from the on the top, you would start all the way up here. I don't I want mine to go like from here. And then grab it over there. So if you want my type of curls, you will go from the middle then down. But if you want curly like from up the top, you will start like up here. Here's the top. Oh <clears throat> 
Okay, so one more time. You're going to take the sock and, like, put it over your hair. You're going to grab the hair that you want to be curled and start twisting it around the sock. And your um, which wrist will start naturally twisting it around, twisting the hair around the sock. So you don't need to worry about twisting the hair that much. And then you're going to grab the ends, pat them down, and make sure you're holding them. Grab both ends of the sock and tie them together really quickly before the hair falls out. So as you can see, my gnomes fell out because I wasn't holding them correctly. So I'm going to put it back in place. And then grab both of the socks and tie them together. Quickly tie it together before all the hair comes out. Twist and back. So yeah. So that's basically how you do it. Now you're just going to do it all over your head. It really doesn't take that long. For me, it only takes me about 10 minutes. And yeah, so I'll see you guys when I am done with it all over my head. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so this is the finished look. I look really weird in it, but I, it's kind of pulling my hair. That's why it's better to have a bonnet or something to pull your hair. So I only needed seven, and I had I had one sock left. This beautiful kitchen. So yeah. So now this is optional, but I really recommend doing it. Oh, my pizza pulled it. Oh. I usually don't stick with the bonnet, but only if I do socks, or like if I'm trying to keep my hair really nice for the next day. So if like a wedding, if I want my hair super straight and nice, I would wear a bonnet. But other than that, I usually don't wear a bonnet. So I'm going to bring my hair inside the bonnet. Tomorrow, I have school. Unfortunately, I don't want to go to school. I wish we had two changes. So tomorrow morning, I will show you guys how to take it out. I'm pretty sure I have to. Oh, if you're wondering why do I come around and tie it up here? I'm sorry, I didn't. Because it's, it's so much easier and it's so much tighter if you go around and tie it up here. Because if you just do it like that, it comes out much easier. Right? So I tied my one, bring it around, and tie it. So yeah. But yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, also, I totally forgot. You are going to see through this. But, if you don't want to sleep, you can have it throughout the day, but it has to be at least six hours. That's the thing. So, yeah. And I'm gonna, well, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed in like four hours. So. But, I'm gonna keep this through the rest of the day and throughout the night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, Bye. guys. <coughs> well, it's morning for me. Last night it was, I think it's 7.8 that we got to check. So yeah. I'm going to part of my outfit. Yeah, so I do look tired. As you can see. I'm really full. <coughs> but that's not where it's at. Here, okay. I'm just going to take off my bonnet. I'm really going to have to take this one off. Remember, I don't, I don't know, but um. A little bit of curl, but if you wanted a much more tighter, it was just a little bit curlier. I made that one too tight. Whoops. And then just so you guys when I'm done. Three, two, one. <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> this is what it looks like. Yeah, so we're done. Now it's fine. So now we're gonna brush them out. I prefer using my hand. So you can use whatever. Okay, so. So I finished brushing it and I just need to go test my what I look like in the mirror. What it looks like. Another 
Hopefully you guys can see that. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video or if this video really helps you get some kills or like not or like just like some razor kills like mine. I don't I don't want six kills, I just want nice natural razor. So yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the question of the day is who is it? Wait, what type of hair do you have? And yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.